Yep, Firefly's on the ship! We're gathered around the chest. Like, why don't we just open it? Sneaking in was way easier than I thought. The family's security is as lax as ever. Oh, maybe she's referring to Firefly. Firefly was concerned about the harmony. So, this is the Radiant Feldspar. <laughs> so luxurious. A pawn shop that grants wishes. Is there really a place like that on the ship? Yeah, it sounds like it's Firefly. I'll find out for myself if the rumors are true or not. What the hell? Dude, Trotters have like an ass. Look at that ass. <laughs> Is that him? Ah, ah, come on, reunite. Uh, vanished in the blink of an eye. So the Astral Express is here too. Go say hi. I'm gonna go say hi to Robin now. By the way, there's one more thing. Mr. Alfalfa and I discussed it. I'll present a gift to the Astral Express on behalf of the family as a token of gratitude for the nameless contributions to Pentacony. Yay! Please help me with the necessary arrangements. Yay! I take cash! Right away, Miss Robin. You don't have to prepare anything. I take cash. Or I take personal performances from, from Robin every now and then on the Astral Express. Can I ask you something? Oh, greetings, Miss. Is there anything I can help you with? Do you know how to get to the pawn shop? What? She sounds like a weirdo. She's like, huh? Pawn shop? Ah, you must be talking about Lady Bonajay's place, right? I heard she offers uh, special services there. What? Dot 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 special services there? Come on, chat. <laughs> she has a whip. I've marked the pawn shop's location on your device. Please feel free to check it out. Lady Bona Jade. I think I've heard that name somewhere before. But I want to say Is hi to myself. Wolf? Come to think of it, she disappeared after mentioning that she was going to meet with the Genius Society. Hmm. Huh. I wonder how things turned out for her. If I win. Hey, I'm talking! <laughs> okay, am I drunk? Wait, hold on. Your chest is mine. Yeah. You say that say that to um to Jade. If I win, your chest is mine. <laughs> Who said I was betting with you? I did. <laughs> they are still a ball of fire as ever. Sorry, but I've got to find Lady Bona Jade first. What? No! No! Go say hi to me! going my way wait that's a very interesting let me oh my god my thing is all blown up i gotta see what that means going my way encounter the astral express unexpectedly as firefly run into <laughs> so in other words you could have missed this if, you, if i didn't keep going will it allow me to get closer i'm going around I want to play some more. inspection no it's not the best time to do that yes it is but i've got to find lady bonajade first they won't let me go, come on! Oh, there she is. Um, RP walking over. Never mind, it's too slow. <laughs> Welcome to Bona Jade Exchange, Radiant Feldspar Branch. Hello. How should I address you, dear lady? Firefly. Just call me Samuel. What? Is that her code name? That's kind of, ugh, that's, that's interesting. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I thought Sam was an acronym, but like to kind of play it off as short for Samuel. Ah, very interesting direction. Samuel, nice name. So what do you need, Miss Samuel? And what are you willing to give up in return? Once the trailblazer's undying love. I want to keep on living. And for that, I'm willing to give up everything I have. Everything you have? 
She's like, what? But possessions are like the, the best thing in the world. She doesn't even understand. That's right. Everything. Miss Samuel, I think you'd best turn around. It seems you're not quite familiar with the term pawn. <laughs> what do you mean? I know, she makes it sound like this is like a wish. Oh, she's like a wish giver. Like exchanging anything for anything. But reality is she's like, nah, dude, I'm trying to run a regular pawn shop. I mean it literally. I sense your burning desire to live, but unfortunately, you don't have anything of equal value to offer. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> she says. Oh, she thought she found some like like a solution. Kind of embarrassing. <laughs> OK, a pawn shop that grants wishes. <laughs> I see. It's just a marketing gimmick. Is she that naive? <laughs> this is very much the uh, the situation of, oh honey, oh, oh, so innocent. Well, that's quite a harsh accusation. I understand you may not fully comprehend what I mean, but don't worry, I'll help you understand. Help her understand. Go and talk to these people. They're all customers of my pawn shop. See for yourself if their wishes have come true. Once you've done that, come back to me. I'll help you understand the true meaning of pawn and make you realize what you're missing. That Lady Bonajade feels more like a money lender rather than the owner of a pawn shop. A money lender. Well, you don't, you don't even know what a pawn shop is. Anyway. I'll do as she says and see what happens. Look, they're right there. Am I going to am I going to ignore myself again? Which one should I pop? Is Hoyoverse purposely teasing this interaction from ever happening? That's kind of mean, Hoyoverse. One, two, three, four, five. Don Hung and Void Ranger Jive. Don't change the words. No, it's not the best time to do that. When will it be the best time? Sorry. I'll catch up with you later. Deny. They're, they're really teasing it out. What the hell? All right, Stacy, what do you got to say? <laughs> Firefly doesn't know what a girl. pawn shop is. Coming back to lose more money, huh? Ugh, enough talk. Let's get started. This will be our final game. I'm betting my entire fortune. Oh, girl, don't do that. Oh, a big talker, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see what you've got. Owl eyes. I... I won? I actually... One! <laughs> this... This can't be! You lost to me ten times in a row. How could I possibly lose to you at such a crucial moment? It's true! Lady Bonna Jade has truly blessed me! <laughs> <laughs> Finally! My luck has turned for the better! Great new era for Stacy, the Master Gambler has arrived! <laughs> oh, girl, cash out now. This ain't a life for you. You lost ten times in a row. That's bad luck. I've prepared a gift for you, Dorothy. Check this out. Dorothy and Dell. Whoa, what a beautiful necklace. Is it made of cymothane? It's stunning. How did you know I love jewelry made of cymothane? It has the same purple hue as the necklace my dad gave my mom. I've never told anyone about it. How did you find out, Del? These are kids! Whatever. So... So... The, this fool's about to propose. Well... Will you go out with me? Eh, it's more innocent. <laughs> nah, you, you guys are kids. You can't fool me. I... I will. R really? I mean... Really? I never said yes before because I thought you had no idea what I liked. But this gift made me realize you were actually paying attention all along. Oh trying my gosh. to learn everything about me. So yes, I will. Oh, wonderful. My, my wish has actually come true. So shall we go, Dorothy? Let's go outside and enjoy the stunning views of the 12 hours. 
Yeah, let's go. Ah, uh, uh, how sweet. Ah, uh, kids. Ah, <laughs> uh, this person's name is Walker. He's in the Teletron. Hey, did you see that? The gray haired one outside. <laughs> Don't look around, just focus on your drink. This girl's talking to a kid. Seriously, they look like a total lunatic. This girl's talking to a kid. Is that him? <laughs> I'm kind of curious what I'm up to. This, I'm on this ship just, just doing random shenanigans, which is kind of like, I guess that makes sense. And here's March just like, like sick of my bullshit. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> Look at me. I fall and die. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what I'm about to do. Origami bird. Hey, little birdie. Come on. Oh, March is on it too. Oh, come down already. Everyone's staring at you. No, it's not the best time to do that. Sorry. I'll catch up with you later. They really want you. They really want to tease it out this whole time. All right, let's talk to Walker. Yeah. I'm sure he has right. something more interesting to say. Got him. He's been hiding at the moment of Sol and Pinnacone, using a fake identity. And he even posed as a professor at Paperfold Academy. I've made a deal with the family. I'll leave the extradition-related paperwork to you. How'd I find him? Well, let's just say I had some help from an influential figure. Don't ask for the details. 22 years. Yeah. 22 years of chasing this guy all over the cosmos. Scary eyes. You know? Never thought it'd end up like this. Right here. I'm gonna hang up for now, partner. I need to raise a glass to myself. Walker hangs up the phone and a drop of fuel seeped out of his deep metal constructed eye sockets. Those were the tears of an Intellitron. All of their wishes actually did come true. <laughs> but I just don't understand. How did she do it? And what does Pawn really mean? I should go back and ask. Can I? I want to get that back, chest. Miss Samuel. Yeah. I found those people. And it seems their wishes did come true after visiting the Bonnage Aid Exchange. But I'm not sure what you want me to see. They all seem to be living fulfilled lives. Not so fast. This step was just to show you that the Bonajade Exchange is genuine. That I had the power to grant their wishes. And now, I'll tell you the price they paid. Del was from a wealthy family. He was head over heels for Dorothy and wanted to win her heart. So he made a deal with me. He put up his entire fortune in exchange for a gift that would impress Dorothy. Entire fortune? Dude! Jade's just asking for money! Does Firefly have money? I did take money from her in, in 2.0. It was a piece of cake for me, thanks to my IPC connections. However, Dell will soon find himself evicted from the dreamscape because he can't afford his room. Whether he can bounce back from poverty, well, that depends on him. What? Is this a monkey monkey's paw situation? Jade's just extorting them with cash? That doesn't seem like a good deal at all. Let's just hope that necklace will keep the relationship from crumbling. Then there's Stacy, a lady with a gambling addiction. She wanted some serious luck, but she had nothing to offer. So I took something else instead. I took away all her close relationships. What kind of power does Jade have? From the moment she stepped out of the Bona Jade Exchange, Every casino in the cosmos would remember her name. But her parents and siblings would sever ties with her. And it would be impossible for Stacy to make any real friends again. She will accrue a vast wealth due to her good luck. But she'll never be able to use it for the people who truly matter to her. As for Detective Walker, he spent two decades chasing down a wanted criminal for some heinous crime. But he never caught the guy. In his desperation, he came to me. Wait. What is Firefly going to sacrifice? If Firefly wants to keep living, 
I bet you the most valuable thing she can, that Jay can take, is her relationship with me. That's fucked up. Or maybe she has to relinquish everything about the Celeron Hunter stuff. Interesting. He offered his own memory system as collateral. In due time, his memories as a detective will be erased, and he will completely forget his own identity and all the sacrifices he has made. Interesting, don't you think? I fulfill people's desires and grant them favors, and soon they come back to me with even greater desires. Ugh. It is a monkey's paw situation. I don't like that, Jade. When people see others' desires get fulfilled, they develop their own desires. It seems like an endless cycle, but it does have a goal. In the end, I will get what I desire from this whirlpool. But what are you going to do with those things? I mean, I get the fortune thing, but like taking away one girl's relationships and taking away this guy's memories, like what do you have to gain from that? And patience happens to be one of my greatest strengths. So now, do you understand what you must give up, Miss Samuel? Or should I address you as AR-26710, a remnant of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry? Well, she does have her connections. Hmm. I'm not surprised. You are much calmer than I expected. Entropy loss syndrome. Truly an unjust misfortune, isn't it? Just the higher-ups in Glamoth implemented such a failsafe within the genes of their warriors. Just to make sure the Republic's most powerful weapons wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. I knew it! So, this isn't just some random disease. They put all the soldiers that they made to fight in the, the war from the trailers. They were genetically modified, but they, they put a failsafe. Like, they basically implemented this quote-unquote disease for this reason right here. It, this is intentional for what she's experiencing. As for the price, those Iron Cavalries weren't exactly seen as regular, independent humans. So there wasn't really a price to be paid. However, you are different. You're now oh, a stellar hunter, shit. a living being named Firefly. Naturally, you want to continue your existence. But with the firmament front gone, the people who know the secret and can cure the disease are nowhere to be found. Are you suggesting that the IPC has a remedy? Well, there might be a silver lining. That's all I can say for now. I see. It's no wonder you said I can't provide anything of equal value. Because nothing I own holds any meaning. So, you're going to ask me to personally restrain my partners to ensure my own survival? Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. Oh, yeah, they all do have bounties, including Firefly. Partners. A nice way to put it. Now I'm even more curious about the Stellaron Hunters. Each of you has your own identity and a special bond with each other. It's strong and intimate, and yet it allows for independence. Just as the Ten Stonehearts follow Diamond, you follow your own leader. I wonder what they are like. And if all Stellaron Hunters are like you. Traveling on the path of finality, but struggling against your destiny. Attempting to move in the opposite direction. I really hope that one day, all of you will come and visit my pawn shop. I'll be waiting patiently for that day. Can I see this as an invitation? From Diamond to the Stellaron Hunters while keeping the IPC in the dark? Consider it more of a personal offer from myself. It doesn't represent the IPC or the Strategic Investment Department. The Stellaron Hunters have interacted with the IPC, but not the Ten Stonehearts. Our paths have never crossed. As for your offer... I can pass it along to my partners. 
But I have a question. You know who I am. And you must know that my partner is keeping an eye on this room. If she wanted to, she could let the entirety of Pierpoint know about it within a few mere seconds. What drives you to take such a risk? And extend this invitation on behalf of Diamond? Even if it could lead to your downfall? Simply put... You and I are the same. What? Please elaborate. However, Damn it, it faded away. Like your okay. Stellaron hunters or the Astral Express, we band together merely to obtain what we want. Oh, look it! Silhouettes of, of future IPC characters we're gonna run into? Are any. Is this diamond right here? Each of us has our own past and destined ends. And on this journey, we have been invited by Diamond to join him. This journey could be either brief or long, as each of us carries a void in our hearts. That can only be filled from the outside. So, Diamond made us a promise. To divide the power of the Emanator of Preservation into ten pieces, and give each of us a cornerstone to fill that void. Mortal flesh is fragile, yet my heart is unyielding like the monolith. For without this resolve, the way of preservation would fade into oblivion. So, you understand? This pledge goes beyond a mere oath. It's our collateral in exchange for opportunities, wealth, survival, and a future. And whatever we gain from it will fortify the Stonehearts in return, allowing us to achieve the great cause of the preservation when the war among the eons eventually comes. Oh my gosh! Is that a hint that of what's to come? <laughs> I understand. Take your time, child. You don't need to give me an immediate answer. Like I said, patience is one of my greatest strengths. Hmm. If fate turns that page, our paths will cross again. It's a shame, though, that this pawn shop can't give me what I desire. My last attempt in Penacony. <laughs> Well, it ends with hope. Lady Bonajade, I've come to deliver the collaterals promised. Oh, we're, Turns we're back. Out, the meeting to decide the future of Penacony went much smoother than expected, with little debate. What? We're we're fast traveling that whole part. I wanted to see that. That should be a cutscene. Oh, the Charmony Festival's opening ceremony is starting soon. I should head down and take a look. This airship has quite a few treasures. A bountiful harvest. <laughs>